credit to the French, to that man right there. They did everything to get back into this game. He's got the world for Patrick. And he will come again. Oh yes, he will. He's too good not to. And so will this French team. That's got so much youth on its side and so much potential. For a couple particularly in the Argentina blue and white stripes. Lionel Messi and Angel Di Maria, this was it. This was their last shot at the greatest glory the game can give. And after they both played their part in a monumental match, all two hours plus of it, would you believe it, it's somebody rather more unsung, Gonzalo Montiel, who had his moment in the sun. And Sergio Aguero is just a regular fan for the rest of the night. Can you imagine the scenes in Buenos Aires and beyond? For the first time since 1986, Argentina. World Cup winners. Oh my word. A final for the ages. After a wait of 36 years when the late, great Diego Armando Maradona lifted the World Cup trophy. Argentina have won it again, the third time in their history. Like the team of 1986, they have done it with the help of a left-footed, diminutive genius. Like the team of 86, they led by two goals to nil with only minutes remaining. Like 86, they recovered and they won. And they did it in a penalty shootout and they did it against a side who had the next truly great footballer of our time in Kylian Mbappe, who scored a hat-trick which only one player has ever done before. So Jeff Hurst in 1966, imagine scoring a hat-trick in a World Cup final and not winning. What a game of football, Alan. I've never seen anything like it. Um, it was just, it was a pleasure to be here, uh, to say thank you to those two, mm -hmm. to Messi and to, to Mbappe. Um, I said before the game, I felt it was written in the stars for the biggest start, and it was. Um, the way they kept going, the, the, the mentality they had to,